Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to today's session where we will have a look into multiple choice questions focusing on the principles and techniques for open extraction. Uh, throughout this session, I encourage active participation from all of you. Uh, feel free to pause the video at each slide and challenge yourself by attempting to answer the questions before I provide the solutions. So let's start. Uh, first question, the background is uh, a surgeon uh, decides to use an envelope flap during an open extraction procedure. Uh, uh, the question is how far should the flap be extended? Uh, so option uh, A, uh, this e uh, extension might be insufficient for adequate uh, access, while the option B is correct. Uh, this is uh, typically uh, sufficient to provide proper access and uh, visualization. Uh, in this figure, uh, you can see uh, to have uh, uh, sufficient uh, access to the root of the second uh, premolar and envelope flap, uh, should extend anteriorly mesial to the K9 and posteriorly distal to the uh, first molar. Uh, whereas if uh, a releasing incision that is a three corner flap is used, the flap extends mesial to the uh, um, first premolar. The option C, uh, this extension is generally unnecessary and uh, uh, excessive for most extraction. Uh, option D, this uh, would not provide uh, adequate access or uh, visualization uh, and where is uh, option E, this may not uh, provide sufficient access and uh, visualization. Uh, so the uh, answer uh, is B, uh, an envelope flap that is extended two teeth interior and one uh, tooth posterior to the uh, tooth to be removed is sufficient for uh, most uh, situations. The background of the next question is when a tooth uh, root is particularly difficult to extract, additional bone removal uh, might be necessary. Uh, the question is what is the final option for this procedure? Um, the option A, uh, uh, that is the straight elevator, is uh, used to luxate the tooth but uh, is not the final option for the difficult extraction. Uh, option B, this is the initial step for access. Uh, not a final option for difficult extraction. And uh, C option, uh, this is an earlier step for improved grip, uh, not the final option. Uh, D, this helps improve mechanical advantage, uh, but may not be enough for difficult extraction. Uh, e, uh, this is correct option. This is the final option to reduce uh, the force needed for extraction when other methods fail uh, in uh, figure, uh, in this figure. Uh, when uh, removing the bone from the buccal surface of the tooth or uh, tooth root to facilitate removal of that root, uh, the, mesio, uh, the mesio distal width, uh, this one, mesio distal width of the bone uh, removal should be approximately the same as the mesio distal uh, dimension of the tooth uh, root itself. Uh, this allows an unimpeded path for removal of the root in the buccal direction. So uh, the answer is E, uh, performing a surgical bone removal with a bar. This final option is to proceed with surgical bone removal using a bar, which reduces the amount of force necessary to displace the tooth. So the next is uh, during surgical extraction, it is important to reduce the force necessary for tooth extraction. Uh, the question is how much bone should be removed vertically? Uh, option A, this amount of bone removal may be insufficient for reducing extraction force. B, uh, this is less than the recommended amount and may not sub be sufficiently reduce the extraction force. Uh, C is correct. This is the recommended amount to reduce the force necessary for extraction. Uh, in, figure, uh, in this figure, bone is removed with a, a bone cutting uh, bar after reflection of a standard envelope flap bone uh, should be removed approximately one half to two thirds uh, the length of the tooth root. Uh, D, removing this much uh, bone is uh, excessive and unnecessary. Uh, e, this is uh, more than the recommended amount and may be excessive. So the correct answer is uh, C, uh, uh, the bone should be removed approximately one half to two thirds uh, of the length of the uh, tooth root to sufficiently reduce the force necessary for uh, extraction. So uh, after bone removal, if uh, the tooth is uh, still difficult to extract, a purchase point uh, may be uh, needed. So uh, what is the 
uh, purpose of uh, a purchase point uh, in the route. Uh, option A, uh, irrigation space is not the purpose of the um, purchase point. Uh, B, um, uh, answer is uh, correct. A purchase point is uh, specifically for inserting uh, an elevator to help uh, extract the tooth. Uh, this uh, figure, if the tooth uh, root is solid uh, and bone buckle, uh, bone can be removed uh, and a purchase point uh, can be made for the insertion of the uh, elevator. Uh, option C, uh, while it may aid uh, uh, visibility, uh, this is not uh, the primary purpose. Uh, D, a purchase point uh, is not for a bone uh, uh, removal. Uh, and option uh, E, uh, the sutures are not secured in uh, a purchase point. Uh, so the uh, answer is um, B, a purchase point is uh, made in the route with a bar to allow the insertion of an instrument like a heavy elevator uh, to level uh, the tooth from its uh, socket. The oral and basal facial surgeon expertly carried out uh, the extraction of a second mandibular molar on a 27-year-old uh, man. Um, regrettably, despite meticulous irrigation and suction, a uh, root tip persisted within the socket. So, which instrument should be used to gently remove the uh, root apex from the uh, socket? While, uh, option A, while uh, useful for luxating uh, teeth, uh, a large straight elevator is not uh, precise enough for delicate uh, uh, root uh, tip removal. Uh, B, uh, the crier elevator is designed for removing roots but is often too aggressive for uh, teasing out a small uh, root tip. Uh, option C, forceps are typically used for grasping and removing uh, teeth or roots but uh, may not be effective for a small uh, persistent uh, root tip. D uh, option is correct. Uh, a root tip pick is uh, specifically uh, designed to delicate, uh, uh, delicately tease out uh, root tips uh, without applying uh, excessive uh, force. Uh, in this figure, uh, you can see when a small uh, 2 to 4 mm uh, portion of the root is fractured from the tooth, uh, the root uh, tip pick can be uh, used to uh, retrieve it. Uh, the root uh, tip uh, pick is uh, teased into the periodontal uh, ligament uh, space and is used to gently luxate the root tip from its uh, socket. Uh, option E, uh, a bar is used for bone removal or sectioning tooth, not for the delicate uh, task of removing a root uh, a tip. Uh, so uh, the answer is uh, D, uh, the root tip pick should be used to delicately uh, uh, remove the root apex from the socket, avoiding excessive force to prevent uh, displacement uh, or instrument damage. The oral and maxillofacial surgeon uh, opted for an open extraction uh, uh, technique for an erupted tooth in a 40-year-old patient. Uh, what is uh, one of the main advantages of using an open extraction technique over a closed extraction? Uh, a option uh, is uh, incorrect uh, because open extraction often require more surgical skill uh, due to the need for uh, uh, flab reflection and bone removal. Uh, option B uh, is correct. Uh, open extraction can cause less operative morbidity compared to a closed extraction. Uh, C is incorrect. Uh, open extraction typically typically require reflecting a soft tissue flap. D, uh, open extractions aim to minimize the removal of adjacent bone. E, e uh, open extraction can be quicker in uh, some cases, but this is not guaranteed for all cases. Uh, so the, the correct answer is uh, B, the open extraction technique can cause less operative uh, morbidity compared to the closed extraction, which may result uh, in significant bone loss and other complications. Uh, during a closed extraction procedure, the surgeon noted that the excessive force was required resulting in the removal of a large amount of adjacent bone. What could have been done to minimize the bone loss? 
Um, option A is incorrect. A larger forcep could increase the risk of additional bone removal. Uh, B, a root a tip pick is used for removing small root fragments, not minimizing bone loss. Uh, C is correct, reflecting a soft tissue flap and removing an appropriate amount of bone can minimize bone loss during extraction. Uh, D uh, is incorrect, while sectioning the tooth can help, it is part of the overall technique that includes flap reflection and bone removal. Uh, e, uh, the chance of elevator does not directly address the issue of minimizing bone loss. Uh, so the correct answer is C, reflecting a soft tissue flap and removing an appropriate amount of bone can minimize bone loss during extraction. A patient requires the extraction of a maxillary molar. Uh, the surgeon considers the risks associated with the, uh, with the floor of the maxillary sinus. Why might an open extraction technique be preferred in this case? Uh, a uh, option is correct. Uh, open extraction can help prevent the removal of a large amount of uh, bone and occasionally the floor of the maxillary sinus. B option is incorrect. The technique of extraction does not directly influence the need for uh, antibiotics. Uh, C open extraction can sometimes be quicker but is not guaranteed to be less time consuming. D uh, open extraction requires soft tissues management including flap reflection. Uh, e teeth are often sectioned during open extraction to minimize bone removal. Uh, so the correct answer is A. Open extraction can help prevent the removal of large amount of bone and occasionally the floor of the maxillary sinus. The surgeon decided to section the tooth during an open extraction procedure. What is the primary benefit of sectioning a tooth during extraction? Uh, A option is incorrect. Sectioning uh, may, be, uh, may help with difficult extraction, but it is, it is not primarily to reduce the root fracture risk. Uh, option B is incorrect. Sectioning can sometimes make the procedure quicker, uh, but this is not the primary benefit. Uh, C option is correct. Sectioning the tooth into smaller sections can help minimize the removal of adjacent bone during extraction. D uh, incorrect. Sectioning does not directly prevent uh, infection. E is also incorrect. While sectioning can aid in removal, its primary benefit is minimizing bone removal. So the correct answer is C. Sectioning the uh, tooth into smaller sections can help minimize the removal of adjacent bone during extraction. Uh, a patient uh, undergoing close extraction uh, experience uh, a significant bone morbidity. Uh, how can the morbidity of bone fragments be reduced during tooth extraction? Uh, option A is incorrect. Using more force can increase the risk of bone morbidity. B, con uh, conservative close techniques can result in a higher morbidity if not done correctly. C, option is correct. The morbidity from the bone fragments can greatly exceed if the extraction is not done properly. A surgical extraction can help mitigate uh, this uh, issue. D, uh, sectioning the tooth can help minimize bone loss. E, elevators are necessary tools in both open and closed extraction. So the correct answer is C, the morbidity from the bone fragments can greatly exceed if the extraction is not done properly. A surgical extraction can help mitigate uh, this issue. During uh, the open extraction of a single rooted tooth, the surgeon needs to provide adequate visu visualization and access. What is the first uh, step to achieve this? Um, the option A, uh, an elevator is used later in the procedure to luxate the tooth, not for initial visualization and access. Uh, B, bone removal may be necessary, but is not the first step for gaining access. C option is correct. This step is essential for providing adequate visualization and access to the surgical site. D is incorrect. A purchase point is made later if the tooth is still difficult to extract. E irrigation is important for cleanliness uh, and visibility but follows initial step. So correct answer is C reflecting a sufficiently large mucoperiosteal flap. Uh, a reflecting a mucoperiosteal flap allows the surgeons to see and access the tooth more clearly, which is uh, essential for uh, successful extraction. Uh, proper irrigation is uh, co crucial during uh, uh, and after tooth extraction. What should be the uh, for, what should be used to irrigate surgical field? Um, a while useful for uh, dis, uh, disinfection, uh, antiseptic solutions may not be 
ideal for irrigation. Um, B, sterile water is an option, but uh, saline is typically preferred for irrigation. Uh, C uh, uh, is correct. Sterile saline is uh, commonly used for ir irrigation to clean the surgical field and promote healing. D, hydrogen peroxide is uh, too harsh for routine irrigation. Uh, um, e, alcohol is not used for irrigation due to its uh, harshness and potential issue dam tissue damage. Uh, so the correct answer is C, uh, sterile uh, saline. Uh, the entire surgical field should be thoroughly irrigated with the copious amount of sterile saline to remove uh, debris and promote healing. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.